Hello everyone, and we're back for another episode of Spin Bricks Originals. And for today's episode, we will be featuring a Triassic Herbivorous Dinosaur, the Lego Compatible Custom Platiosaurus. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe. And also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The winners of the Guesses PC Contest will be announced at the end of the video. But for now, here's how to join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to be able to see all my posts. Such majestic creatures, uh, aren't they? <laughs> oh well, this is my Platiosaurus that I just custom recently. It is actually based off from the uh, prehistoric kingdom Platiosaurus. I like the way it was actually designed and the um, the patterns of the body very much reminds me of a monitor lizard. Well, Moira here will be joining us back later for some size comparisons, but for now, let us have a closer look. First and foremost, let us talk about the patterning and also the colors of this particular creature. As I've said, it is actually based off from the prehistoric kingdom Platosaurus, which I'm actually fond of looking at the patterns of the different dinosaurs and the creatures in that particular game. I'm actually excited to have oops, <laughs> one of those games as well. For the articulation of this um, Platosaurus, you can see that the head or the neck can twist, its um, mouth can open and close, the extremities can um, move as such, and also the tail can be twisted like so. And then zooming in on the head, you can see that there is one big um, stripe, dark stripe on the head. Uh, coming from the eyes going towards the lower jaw. Then taking a look closer of the hands, you can see that this actually has five fingers to it. So let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. So there, there is one big uh, claw to it, very much similar to that of the um, original or uh, scientifically accurate uh, Blachiosaurus. At the moment, I don't have a lot of uh, Triassic creatures, but soon I will be making several more. So feel free to comment in on what other uh, Triassic creatures you would like to see next. And that's it for the closer look. Now it is time for us to have some size comparisons. And I'm bringing out Moira here for a comparison between a normal human and that of a Platosaurus. You can see that the proportions of Moira here with the Platosaurus is very much similar to that of uh, Platosaurus uh, in real life. And as we are okay with the proportions, now let us start with the comparisons with other uh, custom Triassic creatures that I've made so far. Let us start with one of the earliest carnivorous dinosaurs, the Herosaurus. Now this Herosaurus is actually based off from the Telltale's Jurassic Park game. You can see that the Herosaurus is definitely smaller than that of the Platosaurus. And although Herosaurus is actually considered one of the top predators during that time, would you think that one Herosaurus would be able to take down a Platosaurus? Well, considering the sizes, I don't think it would. But let me know of your thoughts. Maybe it would if it was two or three of them? Well, let's see. And now on with our next comparison, the Postosuchus. Now, the Postosuchus here is actually a large and I like the way it looks. It can actually have a comparative size with that of the Platosaurus. Looking at it from this angle, you can see that although it is very low to the ground, the uh, length of the, uh, from head to tip of the tail would be quite similar in just a few um, meters or so. Recently, I have just uploaded the videos for the Posasuchus as well as the Herrerasaurus. Please do try and visit them. I will put on the links on the video as well so that you would be able to view them after you have watched the Platysaurus video. And as I've said earlier, I would love to hear about what your comments on the next Triassic creature. Do let me know in the comments below. 
there's a wide range of fauna during the Triassic period and I'm actually excited to make some of them uh, during the next months or so before we head off to Christmas. Well, so much for that. Now it is time for us to have a roll call. Herrerasaurus, Platyosaurus, and Postosuchus. And that so far is my collection for my Triassic um, creatures. Now let us head off to the next section of this video, Assembly Eggs, one of my favorite uh, portions of this video. This creature has 8 parts to it. Let's start connecting the head with the lower piece of the jaw. And that's it. Now it is time for us to connect the neck with the body. After it has been connected, let us connect the tip of the tail. And after that, we can already start on the uh, right side of the leg and then the left side. And then to finish it off, let's put on the hands. Note that the hands will have five fingers to it, so I'm actually really um, excited for this one because it was um, scientifically accurate in some point. Alright, and that is the uh, Platyosaurus. Now, I have collected some photos and videos of when I was making this figure. This is called the Extinct Rex at War. And here is the kit bash portion of the Platyosaurus. There are a lot of parts to it, so bear with me, guys. So, after that, I have already put on some clay to it and started with the sculpting phase. Once the sculpting phase is done, I did a lot of wet sanding and then I head off with primering of the figure using Bosni number 68 gray. Now after that, I have put on the base colors for this one. It's more of a pinkish, a yellow, and then a white under belly to it. Then I started on painting the details of the body using this dark brown on all the surfaces where the um, patterns will be placed. And it's about end of the video, so it's time for us to have some last looks. And as usual, let's start with the name of the dinosaur. Now, this dinosaur came from the two Greek words platus meaning broad and sauro meaning lizard. Thus, given the name Platyosaurus. It is a platyosaurid dinosaur that lived during the late Triassic period around 214 to 204 million years ago in what is now central northern Europe and Greenland, North America. Adults of this creature actually reach up to 10 meters or 33 feet in length. It's really nice to see Moira here enjoying her time with the platysaurus inside its enclosure. I hope you enjoyed the video as well, as much as I did. Now it is time for us to announce the Guest of Species Contest winners. As always, I'm happy for your participation and so I have 10 lucky picks. Adrian Van Naker, Creeper Mendan 09, The Jurassic World Gang, Black State, Floppy, Arturo Augusto, Game of Hot Dogs, Doodle Dude, David Gillen, and Mod Janidi. Thanks everyone, and now for our top 10 winners. Top 10 Henry Salinas. Top 9. Top 8. Ina W. Sneakies Top 7. Gunter. Top 6. Top 7. Top 5. Becky Patrick Top Connor Frick Top Two Dino Monsters and Top Congratulations everyone and I'll see you on the next Guest is PC contest. Also our babies Moira and Asher has their own blog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please do watch their videos and subscribe to their channel as well. Thanks for the support everyone! Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!